Welcome to Merit Training. Today we're going to talk about SAM splints and how you can use this with tubi gauze to enhance the SAM splint itself. Tubi gauze is an orthopedic fabric. It has a hole in the center and we use this as a pre-casting. If we're going to put a cast on somebody or any other orthopedic device, we'll put this on the arm or leg first to protect the arm as you put the casting material on. What we're going to use this for today is we are going to put the SAM splint inside of this tubi gauze and then the SAM splint not only will have a protective layer around it, it'll be more comfortable for the casualty because it's a soft fabric, but you can also use this as a um, pelvic binder. So this is how we're going to do it. You need to roll up the tubi gauze. So you want to roll this up to about halfway. You're going to put this onto one end of your SAM splint. until you have your SAM splint completely inside your tubi gauze. The beauty of this, you can use it as a normal SAM splint, like we've shown in other videos. You can fold it over, make sure you put your V shape into it, because that is what makes this SAM splint rigid. This extra fabric you can use to protect your arm or your leg that you're using for the SAM splint. But the really cool thing about this is a perfect pelvic binder. Pelvic fractures are very dangerous in the wilderness. Fall from heights, motor vehicle accidents as well. And what you have to do is you have to bind the pelvis. Unless you're carrying a pelvic binder, which I'm a lazy medic. I'm not going to carry something I don't have to. I can use this as an improvised pelvic binder and put this up underneath the casualty. You're going to slowly work this up. You can lift the casualty up. And you can use a surgeon's knot to tie and bind the pelvis. Therefore, using a SAM splint with the tubi guys has a bunch of different uses. Here at Merit Training, we suggest using your SAM splint with at least one of your SAM splints with this tubi gauze.